So what filters do we use for color cameras? Well, we can divide the filters into two main categories, a band pass and a band block or band stop or band reject. It's basically some filters that only allow certain wavelengths through or that only blocks certain wavelengths. And then there's kind of a, a transition area between the two. You'll often see manufacturers use a lot of different abbreviations for these filters. There's no fixed definition for what is one and what is the other. So just don't be confused about those names. It's mostly just marketing. When it comes to the color filters, there's a wide variety of filters from different manufacturers where the peaks have different. With my recommendation would probably be to get one that's relatively wide, that just suppresses a few lines around the light pollution and use that for your galaxies, use that for your reflection nebulas, and then get something in the ultra high contrast area where they are really narrow, really narrows in how much light it is, and then use that for your emission and supernova remnants. And if you are shooting in the city, then you can also use that to shoot through a lot of that light pollution.